Hi there, welcome back. I got a question for you. Do you think you can become a data scientist after 40 or after 50, right? Do you think you can actually get the skills necessary to become a data scientist after a specific age? Because look, this answer is quite obvious, but let me build up on it. Because if you're lucky enough to maintain that open-mindedness so that you can always learn new things and keep the mindset of growth, you know, you can easily embrace any type of techno technological advance and growth. And uh, this is very, very important because in our lifetimes, technology changes so rapidly. It's not a simple cycle that can last a whole lifetime. Nowadays, during our lifetime, we will have multiple cycles that we will go through in which technological advance will happen. You know, like maybe 20 years ago, when I was even like young, right? I'm not 40, I'm, uh, I'm 35 now. But even when I was young, when I was 20, so let's say 15 years ago, people found it um, easier to maintain a job for longer periods of time. But nowadays, every, I don't know, every five, 10 years, the technological advances go through another cycle and then a small period of consolidation, which can last from five to 10 years, but there will always be hypeness around specific areas. And it just so happens that nowadays we get data science and machine learning in this cycle. So we're in, in a market cycle that favors these type of jobs. Okay. And you have to be very, very aware that after this exponential growth, right? After this big jump that, okay, now we need a lot of data scientists. Now we need a lot of machine learning engineers. There will follow a period of consolidation in which the market will try to rebalance itself out and try to figure out the roles of these people within the job market. And once you know where, uh, where you are within that market cycle, then you can figure out whether data science is, um, a path you want to pursue, right? So if you just look at it from the perspective of, I don't know, making money or trying to, um, you know, to, to make a living with the latest technological trends, then clearly you need to know exactly where you are in the market cycle. And sometimes you might time it badly, right? We don't know for how long so many data scientists will be needed. Possibly this need will just grow exponentially, but I don't think so. I think the need will grow but it's gonna grow less and less, right? So if this is the case and more and more people get on the hype train, that means you will find it harder to get on this bad bandwagon. But you see, what, what I believe is that you don't necessarily need to just chase a specific trend. What you need to do is be on the lookout for um, what the market will require in 10, 20, 30 years from now, right? Because even if you get these small spikes, right, with each new technological advancement, you will still get some idea with regards to where things are heading towards, okay? And the reality is that data science itself is just a spike, right? It's just a spike within this growth that is happening within the technology space. I believe that if you want to, I don't know, to be a part of this, right, in the long term, you need to focus less on, let's say, machine learning and data science, but more on uh, CS, right, on computer science, and learn different programming languages, learn data structures, learn algorithms, learn how to create applications, learn how to build real products, not just a small subset of machine learning and data science that can be used in specific areas. You need to understand the complexity of, of technology and how you can leverage different tools to perform different jobs, right? If you just know a narrow, right, a narrow set, then if that set of skills is less required, then you're gonna find yourself a bit, um, you know, out of the market. So if you learn the basics, if you learn the basics of computer science, if you understand, right, how to create products, how to build products and services with the help of technology, then you will find it much easier in the long term to adapt to the changes in the market. So as long as this is happening, as long as technology will keep evolving and going through these cycles, 
you will be safe. But that is the, the reality. I think you can become a data scientist, you can become a software engineer, you can become anything at any age, regardless whether you are 30, 40, 50, or 60, as long as you are passionate about it and you actually want to build products and solve problems because this is where it all boils down to about solving problems with the help of technology, be it, I don't know, be it machine learning, data science, or whatever else, or whatever else right? Be it Python or, uh, or JavaScript or whatever. It doesn't matter. If you want to solve problems, you're going to use the tools that are required to get the job done. Okay? What all of these universities tell you, they tell you, oh, you need to know Python, you need to know that and that. No, you need to know more than that. You need to be able to adapt to the changes in the market. That's why you need to learn data structures, algorithms, so that you understand how technology works and how to build real world applications with the help of different uh, programming languages, not just one specific, specific set of skills. So if you are starting out now, let's say, I don't know, you want to learn data science or whatever, try to be, to, to keep an open mindset and, and look at it from the perspective of 10 years down the line, not just what is um, on the hype right now, because you might not time your, um, your entry on the, on the market very well, and you might find yourself out of the job market just because you entered too late. So nobody can predict the job, uh, the job market cycle. Nobody can predict whether this is the perfect time to get in because everybody's different. Everybody has different objectives. What you, what you can do is observe trends in the long term and try to understand what are the skills necessary right, to, to, to know in order to adapt to any small jump in, in any technological change. 